Hey everybody, I am Lisa Jacob. I am a writer, a speaker, and I am an instructor at Writing Pad. And I have a writing class that is going to start soon, and so I wanted to make sure that you knew about it. It is a memoir writing class, and we have it online. So it doesn't matter where you live, you can log on from anywhere and join us. So I wanted to give you a little writing tip. This is the kind of stuff that we talk about in my class. So here's my writing tip. Steal. I know it sounds not that good. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't say steal, but it, it's kind of stealing. So maybe I can pretty that up and I can say like borrow or, or get inspired, which is essentially what I mean, but it's kind of stealing because I think sometimes writers can get really caught up in the feeling that we need to create something that is completely original that no one in the world has ever seen. It's brand new. And that's not actually what we're going for. What we're trying to do is create something that is authentic, something that is from our hearts, something that really represents what we want to say in the world. And so in order to do that, we need to look around, we need to read great writers, we need to look at art and look at what other kinds of artists are doing, we need to look at nature and society, and we need to like steal a little bit. We need to use that in our work. And so for memoir writers, I think that that often means looking at fiction. So look at what fiction writers are doing. Look at how they're creating layers in their work, how they're creating really interesting, complicated three-dimensional characters. Look at the arc that they're using for their story. That's all incredibly important for a memoir. And for those writers who are still kind of looking for their voice, what writing do you love to read? Try on the voices of those writers. It's not gonna sound like them. It's not gonna sound like a copy when you try on their voice, because it's you. It's uniquely you. It's just, you're trying on something to see if it works and see how that is when it goes through your interpretation. And often that can help you find your voice because the writing you're attracted to, the writing you love to read, chances are good that your voice is very similar to that. So just steal a little bit and see what happens. So this is the kind of stuff that I love to talk about in my writing class. We also read all kinds of great writers. You bring your work in and we'll workshop it and we'll help you to make it deeper and richer and make you an even better writer. So I hope you will check it out and join me online so we can all you know, steal a little bit from each other. So check out writingpad.com and hopefully I'll see you online. Bye.